All right, everybody, the moment of truth. Why'd I come here? It's been a hell of a week for me. I, don't know. I sent Gary a picture this morning, which started this. Yeah, as it, usual, the instigator. Mr. The instigator, me. And we He's a motorhead. To the uh oh. 2023. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what age guy gets to buy this thing? Oh my the gosh. The Fire Blade. 214 to 15 horsepower wall right out of the box. But does that exhaust give you a note? It sounds awesome. Really? Yeah. So you don't need to change out the exhaust? <laughs> no, you do not need to change that. What does Lance say? Is it badass? Do I need to change the exhaust? It's been some. Really? All right, reloading. I'm going to the CT or what? Yeah, right. You'll be riding. I'll be watching you. I'll be riding. No, I know. I already know that. I get that. But he would be the wild man to push it to what it could do. I mean, he would definitely. He would. He would not hold back. Okay. So, do we need to start it up? Yeah, we do. Uh, we got to hear the exhaust. Go ahead. Here we go. We got. We we okay. Then don't touch it. Okay. Um, oh, so you don't have to put it in it. Oh, it's a fob. That's what I was wondering. It's a fob deal. It isn't actually a keyed ignition. Lance, come start this up. <laughs> oh wow! You gotta be a you gotta be a techie guy, a computer whiz guy, just to figure. You gotta hold the button down. Probably. There's a little button right here. Just probably like BMW or something. But it's, it's fancy up on our easy. Yeah, I saw that little fast screen. Ooh. Sounds like my CBR, my CD1000R. It'll get louder. It's got that still got the flap on it. So once the flap opens up, that's the one that's going to get the flap. Really? Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. I'm surprised they didn't put a hard cowl back here. It's lighter than, I just did an undertail and stuff on a regular, and all of this is very minimal compared to what I just pulled off of the other one. There's a lot that's gone back there. Right. I was like, whoa. The body yeah, so, work is thinner. Because it's like a, it, it, like, than the regular body work is, so it's, it's even lighter. Paper thin. Paper thin, but it's pretty awesome. I like this too. They, they thought, ahead of time so they machined the stock cover where your the plugs set in like your timing like your set timing these always get holes in them when people are like if they crash them yeah but they made it so you can slide now you don't have to worry about the uh hole in the side casing you know if you did so right you exactly if you slide if you did don't do that though. <laughs> yeah well i'm not that radical don't i mean that. this is more bike than i'll ever use it to now yeah. that's interesting how this is extended out like a little tail yeah, I, we had that other one. Some neat uh, regulations. The Yoshimira, I just put a Yoshimira one on there that it puts it right here. Doing one. On a, on a, one thousand RR. Actually, I think it's back there too, right? What a one thousand RR. Yeah. Right. That's stupid. Dude, so dude, so dude, what's the top speed of this bike? What do you think? I, I would say I think that just like any of them, until you unlock it, they're all one eighty six. Okay. So I'm fair. It's a 200 mile bike. Yeah, but it'll go faster than that. But it's 186 because of that's that federal law. So yeah. Unlock it with like a. EPD. Right. Um, we have to trip it. Wow. So do I get a test? Works. Do I get a test drive? I doubt it. Yeah. Really? It's such a rare bike. I mean, not like I don't want to buy it, but I mean, same time. It would be pretty cool. Bill's so overwhelmed with all his work. I don't even know when he'll get an answer to see the bank lets me take it. You know what I mean? So the question is, do we run up the road on it? How many, have you ridden it? I ain't got zero miles on it. I, I, just, I just built it and rolled it up here to get an inspection right now. How many of these have you seen? 
Not this color. That's the, the red. Third the red one I've seen, and that's been over. But that was last year's. Yeah. But that was last year's. Yeah. Yeah, we get two or three a year, and it's like one per split between the two dealers. So sometimes we get both of them. Sometimes we get one, or might go up there if they sell it up there. But he, but Jack was saying one guy just buys and puts it in his museum. Yeah. A lot of people do that. There's a couple people that, do, that I know that done that. There's a couple people though, that race though that bought this just to race. Yeah, it. right. Yeah. yeah, what it was built for. Yeah. But I'd but say. Because you're already, you're, you're, for the average guy that's going to go out there and run. They're not spending type okay. of money. It's pretty well equipped for somebody to go out there and drive right. and, and run around. And you're not going to go out there super. Stuff or whatever, yeah. Change the belly pan and all that stuff out to fill the. Sure. So, what's the service intervals? Not like it's going to be a rattle for me, but not, probably you know, pretty, pretty aggressive. If you really wrote it. Yeah, I would imagine it's just like the other one now, as far as the only one thousand, the regular one thousand. I'm not sure the mileage now. I haven't, re I haven't read all the owners' manuals on them, but the. Uh, it's 600 mile break in, like all like the rest of So, them. what's your rev? Where should you kind of 4,000, 5,000, 3,500, 4, 5? I mean, that'd be my guess. Such a high. This is probably a 12,000, 13,000 rev bike. Oh, yeah, it'll rev real high. But, I mean, you can honestly, all of them from the factory on the Honda side of them, if you, if you look at like when they're putting them together assembly, they run them on a 9 m for the Oh, yeah. So they're already broke in. They have a little bit of gas sometimes. I mean, yeah. They just sell them and put them in the creek. So you, it's like, I mean, you buy some of the Suzuki and Yamahas. And I think it's, no, I mean, yeah. on the KTM, it's not. The Suzuki does it too, but you can't full rev with some of them until 1,000. Yeah, miles. right. The computer controls it. Yeah. My car. Does the CBR1000RR have that? Some bikes do, and it might be with the electronic throttle. Because I, I rode, I for the first time rode her bike that I bought her. And it just seemed like that was lazy throttle. Seemed like kind of I got into it, it just didn't want to give me what I wanted. Yeah. So I was kind of, and, but I don't know. I was, I've only ridden the bike once, so I don't well, really know. Too, because it's like the traction and, Yeah. Uh, stuff is turned up real high. If it's in like exactly high, right. It'll really feel a lot of Yep, exactly. That's how it was. So it's the motor. This right. has got so many different uh, settings. Yeah. I mean, it's right. You can change the display, same with her, but it's got some pretty cool displays in there. Like, I was going through looking at all the different stuff. I think it's pretty cool. So, it's probably a little lighter than this regular 1000 RR, but is it the same motor? Or is it really a lot of different internal components are different? I'm pretty sure that, they, that the internal components are a lot different. Like, kind of like the work spike, like they yeah. did like a different porting on the head, probably. I haven't looked all into it, but I, I know it's the suspension is completely different. It's got a tuning, like it's a full system exhaust. Look, it's actually got like a split baffle that is on the flap, so it's got two pipes. Yeah, right, right I there. see that. Two into one. Yeah. And because it goes it goes four, two, one into a cat, and then it can be back out and then two into one again. Yeah. yeah. So that's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy, but I think it's pretty much. It probably helps it build that lower end power. So yeah. Because if you open them up too much and they do get like the crap out of it, yeah. you get that boom. Wah! Yeah. Yeah. You know. Uh huh. Wow. I mean, Look at the back tire cowling. That's kind of interesting for the aerodynamics. Yeah, for the air, for the air on. Right. Wow. Oh my God. I bet you think stops on a dime. You'll come off the bike if you're not careful. <laughs> the, the brake master cylinder, that's the one that we switch. Like when like Jeff and him, on his race, race bikes too, all have that. This is a, like an, so the, this is like double of the actual PSI force to the brakes in a regular one. Wow. So normally people will buy that and upgrade that anyway. Yeah. The road racing because sure. the brake fade. And it's yeah. like you got a lot of force that's right there on that one. Yeah. Wow. Do you like it? I don't like it. You like the color? I like the color. Yeah. Yeah. Would you have one? Oh, I, I had one. I, I didn't have that one, but I had one thousand. I had a 600 too. 600 is good, but the uh, I would have that if I if I didn't have the toys I already got. Yeah, <laughs> sure, exactly. Toys about the toys. I don't even get to get to play with my toys, man. They're all sit in the garage. And no, I know. Yeah. Dust. Yeah. Just, talk. Talk. Yeah. Watch my channel. Sunday, wow. I'm, it's like Sunday. I'm like, look, oh, mud grass or. Yeah, they're going to move around. Right. <laughs> okay, thank you there, yes, sir. ranch man. How are you? So, uh,
Hey, here we go. Here we go. What are we doing? What are we doing? I am trying to get the kid over here to get out of the sun as we patiently wait. Patiently wait for something very special over here. Wow. Look at this here. Look, we just came into Timber Conda. The fire blade, the CBR fire blade. It's the totally race built motorcycle. And yeah, what am I doing? I'm actually going to ride it. I'm actually going to, they're going to let me test ride this motorcycle. Believe it or not, I'm such the dedicated purchaser. Timber Honda is going to let me test ride this motorcycle today, see if I want to take this home. <laughs> wow. I mean, I think this thing looks so cool. A lot of technology, a lot more stuff than that that I even know about. But stay tuned. It's Iceman by the 2024 Fireblade. Wow. All right. So the racer, Jeff, the service manager here, is going to ride his bike first. He has to make sure it's safe and it's all good to go. So he's all geared up and he's going to go have a little bit of fun. So it's pretty it's cool. Is here is the Fireblade, and then here is the CB has an RR. You okay? I mean, if I take your helmet off your jacket, it'll probably in our 10, 15 minutes. Doesn't matter. Okay, here we go. That guy races. I mean, he's the true racer. How are you even going to be able to sit on it? Oh, I sat on yours. I sat on yours and rode it. Hey, big guys are more flexible than you think they are. Yeah. Now, is he going to run it up the road or is he just running around the parking yeah, lot? Back, he, right now, because he doesn't have the zero miles, he'll just go through and, and make sure the brake is yeah. seated. And then that way, if he goes out there, he hits the brakes and Poor Adam. Did you hear about Adam? No. Adam, I just saw him the other day. This morning, I'll tell you that. Oh, listen. Wow. Is that the bike? No. Yeah. That's that bike. I heard this backfire. I'm like, what the hell? What's the odds of that? No, wow. Know. He's back. Look at that, huh? What's he thinking? Is it good to go? We just have to put it back in the shop. Look at the lights. Those lights are quick ass. Look at that. Wow. Now Jeff is an official racer. Turn it forward. There you go. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. I just flicked it and it didn't go. Either. What do you think? It's good. Huh? What do you think? Nice bike. Like it? Is yeah. he torquey? It is. I think we got the traction control set wrong on it right now. But it's ABS, right? It's ABS, and and you can you can take it off if you it's want. It's got traction control, wheelie control. It's got all that stuff. Wow. Engine braking. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but it's, got, you, it's got auto blip, quick shifter. Really? Yeah. So oh, that's can, awesome. So you don't even have to. You, you don't. Mean, you don't even have to. I mean, take take off with clutch, and then after that, you shift them without it. Oh, it's got a quick shift. Yeah, it's got a quick shifter and a and an auto blip shifter. So for downshifting. Really. So it auto blips itself. So when you're gear, when you're gearing down, you don't have to touch box. So so it's like the uh, rev matching and cars. Same thing. Like the DCT, yeah, where it just it downshifts on its own. Yeah, they just, really without they just, touching the. They just call it auto blips. What they call it for a motorcycle. Wow. So this thing has that. Yes. Now, does this bike have it? I mean, okay. Now you can add it to this bike. Well, that's so cool. I didn't even know that. So this yeah, thing, see, yeah. See right here it is. Let me show you. 
So this is this is it. This is the the linkage. This is the linkage. Where it's got a motor and electric motor or something in there that does that. Yeah, and see, then you can also make this thing GP shift, which is reverses the shift pattern for racing. Wow. So you got see this other hole right here. Yep. Take that, put that there, and that puts it in. That that reverses the shifting pattern, which makes it Grand Prix shifting. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Wow. Yep. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So you've ridden the previous 23 model, right? Yep. And the 22. So do they? how many years have you been making this now? Uh, I think this is the, what, third year? And so yeah. th from last year to yeah. this year, it's just a paint scheme? Yeah, before, it was, they wouldn't even call it Fireblade. I mean, the Fireblade was over in Europe. You know what I mean? That was yeah. not a, it was a European model only. So. Okay. Yeah. So, but from 23, 24, just a, just a paint scheme. Or is it a little bit more oh, going on? More, I mean, you got the suspension, exhaust. I mean, there's, there's so, they, so they've updated it. Oh yeah, yeah. For twenty four. Yeah. This is a twenty four, not a twenty five. This is a twenty four. Right. Yeah. Because you know how they're doing actually, things. This, this one's a twenty three, actually. It ain't even a twenty four yet. Oh wow. Yeah, this is a twenty three. But it just took that long to get it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's where we're at, brother. <laughs> no, I know that. Yeah. So you feel good about it? What this bike? Yep. Yeah, it's nice. I think you'll like it if you get it. I'm planning on it, so I'm going to go run up the road. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, Appreciate it. Uh, no, daughter's. Jack, daughter's going with you. Yep. Jack, and Jack's going with you. He wants to go, so okay, I'll, I'll let him know. Grabbing. Yep. You going to have fun? You having fun on your horse? Oh, she loves that yeah. thing. She loves it. Yeah. But she's have learning you been in it. Yet? Have you been all the way in it yet? No, because it's, if we have, well, what's the break in? I mean, Just do it. Not a big deal. No, she's gotten into it, it's it's but she's mile. but she's never had a cross rocket, so she wants to get used to it. She's yeah, been more the the Harley riding you, you girl. Get used to it before you even try to ride that thing like that. Though. And it's, it's, and it's a handful. The electric steering is basically is like the hydraulic steering for no uh, no well, uh, death wobble. Right. So and it'll only work when you get into that situation. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. yeah but that's, that's what it's designed for. That's what it's designed for. Because it doesn't have a shock well, like a lot of bikes. Is when that thing starts locking the front wheel a little bit, yep. it starts dancing around. Right. The cavitation. It, yeah. It wants to do a, you know, a little dance and it'll, that, that's when that takes over to keep that thing straight. Wow. Yeah. You going? And plus from going from side to side yeah, in the corner and that kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Jeff. Come see Thank Jeff you. at Timber Honda. He knows his stuff and he's a racer. He races, so he's you know he's a real he's a real deal guy. Not only does he know how to put bikes to go. Sit on this. Well, I sat on yours. It's just a posture. I don't see. The I know that's why I rode yours this morning before I made this decision. You're funny. All right, it's ride time. Jeff just gave us the approval to uh, ride the CBR Fireblade. Jack's riding my old Honda. Goldwing uh, tour manual. Wow. What a day, right? It's getting hot, too. Woo! He's an old man looking on the bike like an old man. Okay. Port shop. How does it sound? I can't hear it. It definitely has a two exhaust, but it seems like there's some more aggressive. Um, it's geared lower. You know, so the revs are higher. Gotcha. That's my guess. It seems like on her bike, when I rode her bike, it just seems like it's a little higher in the revs. But this thing has the uh, rev matching, blip matching, where the thing automatically downshifts for you as you come off the gas and go in the corners. Oh, yeah. Crazy. Is that crazy? Now, there's a lot of things on this. Let me get a... Uh... All right. Total race bike. Total race bike. You know, any logic of me owning this? Not really. But it's badass. <laughs> it's badass. Logic in my world in Ice Age? Yeah, forget it. I don't know my channel. So here we go.